Hello everybody, good evening. Uh, this is Champions Cup Night, uh, round three. We've got Andre versus Krupi, uh, both PI lads, uh, so part of the Spanish um, Blood Bowl 2 guys. Uh, we've got Andre's Dwarfs, um, he's got a superstar runner, Agi 5 runner, Agi 4 Blitzer with movement 6, not 7, Artemis will shout at me. Uh, with guards, uh, he's got a load of like guards. He's got three loner dwarfs. He's got two loners there, and he's got a loner there. Uh, he's got a pom. Oh, he's one of his pom ones died, wasn't it? Yeah, he's got one stand firm, and he's got a rookie as well. So this is this is a uh, <coughs> this is a slightly worse for wear dwarven team versus Kruppi's Nurgle. Kruppi really impressed me in the, his last game to be fair. I think he played really really well. I mean he's got a, he's got a fantastic team as well. So he's got like three, four rookie rotters. He's got two heads. I think he picked up two heads in the last one. Blodge, Pestigore, uh, Claw, no, oh yeah, Claw Mighty, Block, Stand Firm, uh, Block Guard, Block Guard, Stand Firm, Mighty, and a Block Guard. He has got a Tackle Pommer. He's got two tackle pommers. Oh, that was it. He had one of these. One of these was MNG after his game against Tempest Soul. So he's actually got double the claw pom now, which is absolutely horrendous for Andre. <coughs> it's literally a dwarf murder machine. And he's got two of them. And then his Beast and Nurgle's got block and guard, so pretty nice skills on the beasts. Runner's got the ball. If, if ever there was a time for a dwarven Dakar. This could be it. <laughs> this could be the Dwarven Dakar. Uh, so Andre does have a wizard. He also has a bribe. Wow. Uh, that, that is a dead. I don't know why I got excited. It's just a rotter. Rotters die on every hit. For anyone who's been following my Nurgle run so far. They will know that rotters die on every single hit. Uh, so it does get the armor break into a stun. So it's 11 against 10 for the drive. The big line of dwarves. That rotter just double died, did he? <laughs> double dead rotter. So, he's gone narrow. I guess this is going to be a bit of a Mexican standoff. Yeah, he's just going to stand a square away. And, uh... I don't think he's going to pom anything. Really stupid. He might, he might just claw this. One, two, three, four... Five, six, go stand here. I don't think he's pomming this, to be fair. No armor break. Tucks him back in. Takes the GFI. I think he has to take the GFI there, to be fair. So he's just gonna punch a warrior. <clears throat> He's gonna pom a warrior. I'm pretty sure Andre will. Ah, oh, no, just a push. That's a horrible push. And she's gonna fill the line in. She's gonna leave this guy horribly exposed. He might get pommed. And the dirty player is now... Yeah, this is just like... Pom this guy! Pom this guy. Although he could just... Gets the pow. This is huge. Oh, it's a Kaz. Uh, no Apo. And uh, it's already a dwarf down, so it's ten against ten. Didn't even need to use his pommers. Oh it's horrific for Andre, isn't it? You, like, <laughs> just imagine having to face this team with this dwarf team. <coughs> Uh, does it show death twice on the injury port? Uh, yeah, dead, dead. It does. Dead, dead. 
So Elliot's chalice run. Dead dead. Are we putting the foul in? He's got the bribe, hasn't he? He's done alright here. Fouling regen sucks. And the thing is, is like, it's so hard to like not leave a guy out to just get pommed. In comes the foul. Does get the armor break. It's a stun for a send off. That's a terrible result for Andre. Yeah, just dodge out. So I think we can actually safely pom this dwarf and protect him as well. Beast and Urgle, that's two stupids out of three so far. So wrestle safety. Gets the pal. Taboki. Gets the armor break, just a stun. Then we're just gonna guard lock it, I guess. Only issue with this is you're leaving these two dwarfs to get up. I mean, they're not really gonna go anywhere, are they? Did you guys see Cyanide? Make sure before you asked them about the reserve KO cash box, they said one big line that was on the demo might not be how it is in the final game. Hopefully not. I like these. I like. The, I, I just like Bubble too. <laughs> I just really like Blood Bowl too. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so he's like seesawing his way very slowly forwards. The real question is how many dwarfs is he going to lose on the way? That's the thing, isn't it? So he's only at one Kaz at the moment, he has got a bench of two. We're gonna claw palm. The problem is is like every time he's moving to side to side, he has to leave a dwarf. Like he's got no choice, do you know what I mean? He's he's leaving a dwarf. dwarf. Ooh. Big restraint from Kroopy. Punch the mighty blow. Does look like Andre might get around. <clears throat> it's not easy though, is it? And it's just like running into a corner of death. Yeah, so this time he actually tags up the dwarfs. Can he afford... I mean, can we hit this? Probably not. Yeah, we just run the sideline. <coughs> Chain this one off, yeah. Alright, who we claw pumping? <laughs> who we claw pumping? We are claw pumping the stand firm. The bulky. Ah, oh, it's Kaz. Apo's that one. It's just a badly hurt. Fair. Oh, switch the feedback. So down two dwarfs. Uh, turn six. So even if he runs it in next, I mean, he might even be able to get one more turn of stall. Is he going to GFI? No. 
You might even be able to get another turn of stall up here. Which is actually like way better than uh All right boys where we pomming everywhere <laughs> Just everywhere It's crazy isn't it? The Snurgle team is crazy. It's not even like a finished, it's like this guy needs skills. But it's it's pretty damn good. It's it's very good in this particular matchup, let's say. And there's not really there's not really a huge amount of L's left. Like we lost all the woodies. Like we lost all the woodies in like round one. I'm pretty sure we lost the woodies all in round one. And then um there's a couple of rat teams floating about, but they're like all on the the, the other side of the bracket and stuff. There is a skull, and that is a push. I guess we're just dodging this guy out. Yeah, save himself the uh, the claw pom. But Andre's done like really well to get an eight turn out of this. He's only lost two dwarves. I oh, know it'll be probably seven. I'd imagine Creepy puts enough pressure on him here to make him score. Yeah, he's not bad, awesome aim, but he could be uh, like tackle. Rackle, the rackle pestigore is truly a beauty to behold. And there is another cat. This claw pommer just running an absolute train on Andrew's team. If ever there was an advert for Blood Bowl 2020, <laughs> it's right now, right? Hasn't failed a pal yet, yeah. I mean, it's just the Kaz's, isn't it? It's, it's Kaz, like straight Kaz, like no KOs, like no stuns, just Kaz's. Is he he's stalling this out as well? No. <clears throat> what was that? Why did, he <laughs> Why did he dodge? He must have been thinking about it. He must have been going, oh, and then thought, nah. So we are at 11 dwarfs. He's going chevrons. For a Nurgle two turn. You think about a lot of stalling this, yeah. Uh, I mean with a two heads blood jar like it's doable. And like we'll know how hard it goes for it if he Nah, no, it's not going through that hard. It'd be down this side. If he was going for it, it'd be down this side. Just blitz this guy. Sideline. Yeah, I would score, yeah. <laughs> I was I was just thinking like I looked at him and was just like, nah. I mean, I'm not sure what this setup is. Is that the wrestle? Yeah. Dub skulls! I'm not sure what this setup is. That was a horrendous LOS, so that's amazing news for, uh, he's doing a one turn, <laughs> no, 
Yeah, I don't know why he went through the middle. Like, why would you not just go around the side? <laughs> like, you just claw mighty that guy on the way through. Set up a side screen. And, like, this setup was incredibly weak to a blitz. Like, incredibly weak to a blitz. Like, I, I guess the dwarves aren't the quickest, but... I think Andre could have actually scored off a blitzer. Especially with a wizard. And if you get the game to 2-0, it's like... I would have gone sideline. I would have 100% gone sideline. Or not bothered at all. And if I'm not bothering at all, I put my two claw bombs on the LOS and I, I do the claw bombs. Which is pretty handy that he didn't because he rolled terrible dice. So he finally hits the dirty player. Does pom. <coughs> there we go. There's a claw pom that doesn't kill someone instantly. Two terrible LOSs for Kruppi, like, which is making the game competitive. I say two. It's just one LOS, isn't it? It's just his, he had two turns. Feels like two LOSs. So he has actually got another LOS to completely rinse and destroy. So 1-0 at the half, 11 players, still has a wizard, like, it's actually alright, like, I mean it's terrifying, but it's still like, looking alright for Andre. Like, if he gets some mad wizards, you never know. And it's hard for Nurgle to score, so I'm, I'm anticipating... An eight turn drive from Kruppi. Like maybe you score on seven if you're worried about the wizard, but. Yeah, see, he's put the two claw pommers on the line this time. And I think it's probably worse to do it now than it was the turn before, the, the LOS before. Perfect defense. <laughs> he's just, he just can't get away from him, innit? He? he can get away from these two. Yeah, three loners on the line. He got absolutely smashed by... Uh, what's it called? Um, Veliopia. He, like, literally turned 16, something died. I can't... Like, it was a really good... It was his Troll Slayer, wasn't it? He had a he had a Strength 4 Mighty Blow Pom Troll Slayer. And I think it died turn 16 against Veliopia. And then there was two other Kazes, like one MNG and something else. So he was, like, literally down three doors for the start of this game. In a... What is a pretty horrible matchup. Is a dangerous pickup, yeah. Andre looking like he just he's waiting for overtime here. He just doesn't seem that he or like wait obviously until the Nurgle get down that pitch. Not entertaining this at all in the slightest. Yeah, he gets the pout on the third dice. There's the Kaz, so we're now at 10 Dwarfs. There's a Pow on the third dice again. Just a knockdown. Has got a bench. I doubt we'll see a foul though. <laughs> it's the defensive Dakar, that's what we're seeing. <clears throat> so Andre signalling his intent to run away, which is completely fair, to be fair. It reminds me of the thing the Man City fans do, where they all turn around and like <coughs> turn their back on the, the game. 
This is, this is like, he's BMing Croupy, so I'm not even looking at you. Yeah, that's it. The pause then. I know it's a Polish thing originally. Well, it looks like it's going to be a uh, pretty straightforward second half. This is a weird old, uh, weird old drive so far. Is he handing off to the wrestle because of the wizard? I guess. Are oh, you actually going to move the one square? He is. One, two, three, four, G, five, G. Perfect blood bowl. Yeah, it probably is. <coughs> it probably is. I mean, like I always like say to like when I see like uh, rats like fighting and whatever, right, I'm always the first person to say. He should just be running away. He should just be running away, waiting for the one turn. <laughs> and as like as bad as it is to like kind of watch, like it is just the the optimal way to play the game. Um. So yeah, it's pretty much Andre's best chance. And the thing is, is he can still he's still got the wizard. He can still <laughs> if um if Kruppi isn't careful and switches off, like he can still maybe steal the ball at some point. Yeah, Kfo did it as well. Yeah, he just ran away. For uh, 14 turns, played two turns of Blood Bowl and won every game. screen wonder why he's moved him over a bit let's go slightly wider <coughs> oh cheeky wanna pal put the beast in there or is he going to move the beast forward it's going forward this is a uh, this is a bit weird like it's not as uniform as it could be I don't know if he's freaking out about the wizards but it seems a little bit weird. You want to close out in regular time using the wizard? <laughs> Maybe. Like, he just doesn't want to lose players, does he? That's the thing. So, and like, if he brings him down this far down a pitch, I mean, he can still use the wizard. He's got Agi 5. The only issue with it is that he doesn't have the, uh, like, the stink, isn't it? The the Nurgle foul, uh, disturbing presence means, like, punting is pretty pants. <clears throat> yeah, but if you win the overtime toss, that's the thing, isn't it? If you win the toss, like cause he's avoided, he hasn't. No one's been removed. He's had one loner removed, and that was on the LOS, wasn't it? So he hasn't actually had a removal so far. 
But yeah, I can see your point. But I definitely think this is probably the better way to do it for Andre. Because he is still he's still in front of the ball, right? Like there is still some work to do. There is still some work to be done. Right, because he could just be up here, all smashed all over the floor, not wanting to get up because he's just going to get claw pommed. And then the, the Nerg will just screen you off. Like, at least he's got all of his men, like, apart from these two, he's got all of his men in front of the ball and stuff, so... It's not terrible. Like, there's still work for Kruppi to do. And he's got the wizard, hasn't he? He's got the ace card. So it's like, Kruppi's going to be anxious to be holding onto that ball. <laughs> I want to see dwarves. There's a few dead dwarves, to be fair. There's three there. There's a KO'd one. We're going to see some Mammoth Fireball in a minute, I guess. So, Andre is now at 9 Dwarves. Nurgle still sat at 11. There's the Wiz. What's he seen? Not sure about that. Alright, so he's going to be the one that he lobs it to, I'd imagine. Two. That was inaccurate, wasn't it? Ah, oh, hang on. Pass is a four. That's just evil. Actually, five dwarf, yeah. yeah. Like, was he trying to throw it all the way over here? I mean, he could have got like a much better like scatter with it out of the play as well, couldn't he? he got a bit unlucky there. Serve the freak. I don't know what that is because it shows us a four plus pass, but then it wasn't an inaccurate on a two. Or was it? There was no inaccurate. Oh, okay. Oh, it was a long bomb. You can't throw it. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. Now it's looking uh, even sadder for Andre, I guess. No wizard now. <clears throat> that was his big play, wasn't it? That was his big play. And Kruppi will be happy just to have got the wizard out. And like now he can just concentrate on killing and murdering. He was close, yeah. Like, what is it, a 5 plus or whatever? Probably just wins the game. And this is just a 4 plus. I can't believe that's just a 4 plus. Yeah, so he's just running away now. <clears throat> Agi 5 is dumb, yeah. And he's, he's actually really unlucky not to get away with it. You know? <laughs> like, there's the Kaz. Right, so that's another one gone. Runs it in. 1-1. One, one. Uh, no. I don't think so. <clears throat> they haven't really punched anything, to be honest. Like, losing on a 75% play is 
dumb. Yeah, Andre nearly had him, to be fair. Andre nearly had him. <laughs> what? What is this? Oh, okay, defending the riot, I see. Genius. Yeah. You just hold, you just do the like chevrons, wouldn't you? High kick. There's no riot. I think he didn't want him to get blitz. That's the thing. Which is weird. Because the thing is with chevrons is you need like four crap players to be exposed. Yeah. There's a KO. There's the armor break. So Creepy still on three re rolls, Andre on two. Snake's KO rolls, so oh no, that was the catch. Well, there's one in nine on the KO roll, so neither KO has come back. And... Kroopy wins the toss. <laughs> I wonder if they uh, type GG in chat there. I think Andre might have dropped the GG there. Yeah, <laughs> Andre is in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I think Kroopy was a little bit weird on his drive. I think the wizard was really freaking him out. Which is fair, because he's got an Agi 5 and a wizard. Changing weather, no blitz. Ooh! Dodgy kick. And it's away. Oh no, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a GFR. That's if he goes for it this turn. Just a push. I guess we're going for this guy. Uh, has he gone all the way around there? Why didn't he just blitz this one? Am I missing? Am I missing something here? Is it because he's got mighty blow? Oh, because he's got guard. Oh, you have to re-roll it. Oh, oh my god. No. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> what? I don't even know if I do that GFI, to be honest. Now game is on. Now game is on. On like holy, like the fact that it actually threw it straight to the AG5 is just how dumb Blood Bowl is sometimes. <laughs> like, 
snakes himself into an armor break, into a scatter, which passes the ball to his AG5 player. It's just hilarious. Yeah, if only one of these was a movement up. I don't know if he's going to have enough. Maybe the GG in chat was what really swung it. And now Kroopy's got to play a very solid turn here. I guess we free the beast and put it on the blitzer. So we hit this. There. Hit this, don't follow. There. Beast on the blitzer. Right over across. Up, straight up, yeah. Oh, I don't know about hitting with the rotter. I guess this guy is better to free up. He's a 1 in 9. He's going to blitz. Alright, and then GFI. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is he going to GFI the beast there? I guess he's got to. Didn't like the pick up in this turn, the ball was safe there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't really... I I would have just left it for the next turn. So what was that? That was... Uh, oh, I went and re-roll. Oi! Dead into no regen. Well, it's MNG. But he did regen. <laughs> he did regen like a dog. 1D on... Oh, it makes the pal. Holy moly. Uh, I mean, there's <laughs> there's just a couple of claw pommers with wrestle. Is he taking this to kicks? Maybe he's just going to try and take it to kicks. I mean, maybe that's not a bad idea. I mean, this just looks like a, a tunnel of death, doesn't it? <laughs> it just looks like a tunnel of death. Yeah, I know, you can't make it safe going forward. But it's like, how long can he make it safe back here? I don't know how long he's going to last. Like, I mean, all it takes is to knock down... Alright, so the beast goes in here. Knock this guy down. Knock this guy down. Whee! There's a KO. Hello, Giraffe. Thank you very much. Uh, we are watching... Uh, oh, We are watching uh, Kroopy versus Andre in Chalice. And uh, it's been quite a funny game, to be fair. It's been, it's been quite entertaining. Overtime was hilarious. Oh, hello, Davo. Uh, overtime was pretty hilarious. <coughs> I, I believe uh, this is potential opponent for you at some stage. I believe. Yeah, the uh, a lot of that attrition uh, has just come in the last turn, I think. But yeah, it's been pretty bad. Won't lie. But yeah, Andre has the ball. It's in overtime. There's five turns left. Kroopy actually won the overtime toss. And um, it was pretty hilarious how he lost the ball, to be fair. Ball landed on the sideline. He failed a GFI, <laughs> which then scattered the ball out and threw it straight to his AG5 Dwarf. It was hilarious. <laughs> but it couldn't be any worse for... Uh, Creepy, but uh, yeah, he's just like smashing the walls to pieces now. So, whoever said didn't like the way Andre ran away in the first half, this is kind of why he did it. Which uh, in the second half, sorry. 
<clears throat> this is kind of why I did it, because uh, the the Kazes have just got ridiculous now. I guess I guess this is all going to hint. I mean, like the thing is, is he's, he's, he's all he's got is the punt left, doesn't he? So and he's got no players. He's going to get pommed next turn. And like, yeah, creepy keeping his ball carrier back because he he's, he knows the punt is coming. So he's just going to put him in the corner. How many turns? It's just it's, there's just too many turns. There's just too many turns. Yeah. So we're just pomming that, I guess. How much better is this? Yeah. He's he's done, zone. He? He's just done. Like there's too many turns. Unless it like somehow miraculously scatters like all the way down to the other end of the pitch. Oh, no armor break. And here comes the pop. <laughs> Gets the pal. Gets the armor break. Yeah, and you don't pile on there. Your move, Andre. Your move. Add G5. Makes it, makes it, makes it. Punt. Makes it. Ah, oh, it's not far enough, is it? How many turns is there left? So we just pom the runner, pick the ball up. Oh, there's three turns. So what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, he can make it with GFIs with that guy, or it's a handoff. But it is a few GFIs, so he's, at, he's made him roll dice, to be fair, which is more than I think he could have hoped for at the start of overtime. That's surfing that runner. I think it's only like two more GFIs. Yeah, I think it's two GFIs. Those GFI Rowdy, he's got a reroll. He needs the GFIs. He's basically saying that he's not handing it off. I guess, yeah, you just foul this and then, uh. Yeah, it's two. Two GFIs, I think. You better score on the Wrestle Goat. <laughs> what is the Wrestle Goat on? He's on, uh, nine. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, and that's it. That's GG. No rerolls left. Although he's there's another Kaz just for the extra SPP. Although, ah, oh, and the block. Like, how has he managed to leave dice on the ball? <laughs> like, if he gets a knockdown on that beast, how did he manage to actually leave anything that was possible on that? Yeah, Kruppi gets it. And, uh, I mean, just look at that Kaz box. Jesus Christ. Absolutely smashed into pieces. 
And I, I think it's like this Nurgle team's kind of gone under the radar a bit. Yeah, it was a decent game, wasn't it? The the overtime thing was hilarious. That was like hilarious. Yeah, Andre played decently as well. Um, and like he was a four plus away, wasn't he? He was a four plus away from the. Yeah, I think he's a serious contender. Yeah. Like, out of the bash teams, he's probably. Like there's no, I don't think there's any chaos left. I can't remember. I think Veli was the last chaos in round two. Yeah, his team is. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Hancock. But yeah, all the chaos are gone. Like the chores. So you got Cruz's chores. You got Davos Dorfs. And I think they're probably the three. I don't, I can't remember what the state, that like, there was one rat team that I thought was good for a little while, but it just got smashed to pieces, and then, uh, like, I just don't know, I don't think there's anything outside of that, D yeah, Diomed's rats got smashed, but, um, he actually managed to get through alright, um, so anyway, congratulations Kruppi, commiserations Andre, uh, cracking game, cracking game lads, well played.